What's up everybody and welcome back to s and &E Ants YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to go over the update you all have been waiting for. The main Campanatus pensylvinicus colony. Stay tuned and be sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, hopefully I'm doing the intros a little bit differently. Uh, I'm trying to kind of get some engagement out of everybody and um, maybe it's a little bit better of a fit for the channel. So before we start, I want to do uh, one quick thing. If you would look right about here, 80% of you guys are not subscribed. 80%. If you give me one second, just one second of your time, hit the subscribe button hit the like button it helps the channel a whole lot um, I can't thank all of you enough right now uh, we are at 70 subscribers and I've only been doing this for like maybe five, five months I think the last time we talked about this we were in the 30s or 40s maybe so I'm almost doubled my subscriber rate in a couple months and I can't thank anyone but you guys um, you guys have done the work uh, like I've said before we're kind of like a huge ant colony getting bigger um, and you got to start somewhere so what you all are here for the big update um, I haven't given anyone an update on this colony for oh god I want to say about six months um, so I want to get you know everything up to date get down there uh, and and kind of go over how this colony is doing um, and you know kind of where it's at now I'm just gonna put this lid on just for now um, I don't, as I've told you guys in previous videos, I don't use a baby powder barrier. Um, I just think it messes up the tank and makes it look really nasty. But uh, anyway, so if you watch videos before, you kind of know the setup. Um, Campanatus castaneus, uh, new Campanatus pensylvanicus, excuse me, I had a brain fog right there, um, right here. I have another little local ant uh, nest that I haven't shown anybody yet that's kind of just mine for a long, long time. Um, my setup, the crickets I feed the ants, and then if you see right here, I actually just fed them um, two different things. You can't see it back here in this corner yet, but uh, I fed them the mealworms. I usually feed them uh, every other day, uh, They, they, and I'll show you why in a second, but um, chopped up mealworms, chopped up crickets. I just filled their water reservoir back up, and then the uh, biforma connector, which is right here. Um, in this tower so let's take this one step at a time um, and go through I'm gonna go through the outworld first and then we'll get into the nest I know all you guys are really excited to see this um, this is actually crazy in my opinion for me uh, so I'm gonna take the top back off and kind of give you an inside look on what's going on in here um, now do forgive me the outworld is a little messy and um, we'll go to the side first so this is kind of their setup outside. Um, if the ants do start to climb up the side, I'll just take a second. And I got a little skewer that I've talked about in other videos. I like to not skewer them, but I just kind of knock them off the side. Um, but this is their setup out here. Uh, they do have, sorry for the glare, but they. this is where I feed them. The Mac over at Tar Heel Sants did this custom outworld for me um, and sold them back in Christmas. So I actually love it. Um, it's big enough. To give them all the room they need um, plus more actually uh, they do have a little that's their trash pile back there that they love to throw everything in um, but you can see they run around they explore um, I have one on the stick right here she likes to hide you can kind of see her right there she's hiding but they run around they find the food now right now they haven't found the food I just fed them oh I, as soon as I say that uh, one finds the millworms so they love these mealworms. Um, I do get a lot of back and forth about folks feeding them fruit flies and different kinds of protein. Um, I do feed them both crickets, as you can tell, um, and the mealworms. I feed them both, and then their, their sugar source is the nectar, the biformic nectar. And, it, and honestly, it's done really, really well for me. Uh, this, this has been such a great colony. And look... <laughs> She's already got the head of the cricket. That's so funny. Uh, but this is this setup has done really well for me. This colony has done really, really well for me. Um, 
and you know if you kind of want to mimic it in your own setup uh, you are more than welcome if you have any questions just put them down in the comments and i'll read them uh, maybe we can get a shot of her going through the, the tube if she can find the tube now i did crack the tube just a little bit uh oh looks like the news got out and we'll look at the nest in a second but you can see them running through the little tube um i tried a different method of the tubing and it kind of cracked the acrylic just a little bit uh so that's why that's there um i'll show you with my finger or actually the skewer it's what i brought this for uh right through here it's cracked um it's because I, I was bending the tube too much and it put too much stress on the acrylic but it's okay it's sealed um but yes this outworld is awesome um i did a review on it if you haven't seen it uh i'll put a little mini video over here for, um playing and you can kind of check it out or maybe a little still of it and uh you can check it out the uh outworld overview um but it's done great these Feeders are also by Formica, um, bought them on Amazon. They do wonderful, um, and they're actually big enough to hold quite a bit of nectar and water. Um, I put bottled water in it. I've said that in videos past. Uh, that's all I kind of use. I don't use tap water, don't like to. So the ants can kind of go up in there and get what they want. Um, and I don't have to worry about them getting dehydrated. They kind of get what they want at their own leisure. Now, I'm sure a lot of you experienced ant keepers probably use these or use something like these. Now, Mac, again, over at Tar Heel Ants, um, he sells little ones that are pretty much replicas of these. Uh, they're a little bit different in, in how he makes them, but I would suggest anyone that has a, a colony like this or any kind of colony to get these. These things are awesome, and uh, they're kind of like a set and forget type thing, especially when your colony gets bigger. Uh, you can definitely benefit by having these right here. So. Um, now I'm going to put the top back on real quick and because they're starting to get a little excited because of all the food, I'm just going to lightly set that on there and we can kind of go on the main attraction here. So let's check out the nest. Now, as you can see, uh, this nest is popping off. Um, it is doing so well and easily, I would say over a hundred, well, close to a hundred. I wouldn't say over a hundred, but close, if not over a hundred ants. Um, as you saw in the last episode when I brood boosted the uh, single Campanatus pennsylvanicus queen, um, I did clean this glass all through here. I'm going to get my little pointer so you guys can see. So I cleaned all of this all through here um, and definitely around the edges as much as I could. And it gives a lot more clarity into the nest. Um, and as you can see, they are doing fantastic. Um, the queen always likes to sit in this back corner back here. So she's either up top and they'd like to hang upside down or in this back corner back here. And you can see all of this brood through here. You can see all the brood through here. Um, and then you see the pupae and the larvae all clumped up right here. Now they like to, um, heating this, and I know a lot of questions have been asked as far as how do I do the heating. Um, as you can see, I just run a heat cable underneath of the uh, mini hearth. It is, it seems to be the best method for me. Um, I don't like taping anything against the glass. Um, a lot of people will tape the, it right through here. Um, I just, again, I love ants and I got this nest and this setup so I could see them as much as possible. Um, and as you can see in the background, I, I do this for this uh, Castaneous colony because there's no other way to heat it. Um, that There's a mat right there um, that is kind of inherently what the entire setup is sitting on and I don't want to create a fire hazard if I don't need to. So this is why I do this. But um, in this case, the mini hearth sits, um, it's just got uh, whatever material he uses and then it's sitting on a napkin. I know the napkin's a fire hazard, but it's actually done really, really well. So uh, back to the nest. Um, you can see they are very, very active. Um, it's brewed everywhere. This is probably the most successful colony I've ever owned. Um, they are all well fed and you can see through their uh, their bodies if I don't disturb them too too much let me see if I can point oh, I need the other end right through here so especially right here with this ant you see how his uh, abdomen is swollen her abdomen is swollen that means they're full they're absolutely full of food um, these abdomens they use these as kind of like uh, mini pantries almost they just keep the food inside of them um, and they go around and feed the larvae and the brood as much as they can um, and the queen, the queen will swell up too, but most of hers are eggs. So uh, I'm going to kind of give you shots of this. And then there's other shots 
that uh, we can go over too that should pop up on the screen and I can talk to you about that. Um, this shot was a couple weeks ago, I think, and she she made a ton of brood. Like I have never seen so many eggs in a nest before, um, especially one of my nests. Being this nest is uh, this colony is only a year old. Uh, typically, you don't see that with uh, Campanatus colonies. They usually take about a year to two years to kind of start ramping up. Um, this colony is absolutely exploded out of the gate. Now, what I'm going to mention is, uh, especially when you're watching this footage, um, some of this videos are old, um, some of them are not. The This colony was brood boosted. When I bought the colony originally, um, it only had six workers, but uh, the guy I bought them from um, did brood boost them. So this is kind of just a good indication and a good uh, show for everybody that if you can get a brood boost a colony, um, especially if you're starting off small like I did because I like my colony starting off small. Um, they do absolutely wonderful after they're brood boosted and they get going. And like I said, as you can see, and let's get the focus, as you can see inside of this colony, um, they are going to explode in the next couple months too. And I'll more than likely have to get another um, formicarium for them. And I've already talked to Mac a little bit about getting a different setup for them. Um, now what I want to do is if we can focus back in, um, you can see <laughs> they're already starting to eat everything I've put in. Um, they are hungry, and it's not because they're hungry, it's the, the amount of brood they have. Um, they need all of this food. And again, I give them a choices. It's really, really important to give them choices. So again, back to what I'm gonna do. So as you can kind of see in this particular setup, you have the formicarium itself and then you have the outworld now this outworld will be plenty big for them for a while um, and I'm not going to get rid of this for again a qu quite a long time so what I'm trying to get Mac to do is kind of set me up with uh, a formicarium that can almost go against this acrylic um, or get very close because I know there needs to be a, a, a gap with the tube um, but just set me up with something that's about maybe this thick and kind of the same setup as this where they're um it's a stand up it's called, this is called a fortress um they have a fallen fortress which this piece is on the ground and then you have the outworld i don't like taking up too much counter space because i have a limited amount of counter space so what i want to do is kind of get one that stands up and you know maybe a couple inches thick and that way we can get shots of the ants from the the front of the formicarium and i don't have to get all the way down here to kind of get the shots that I want inside of this uh, nest. So I kind of wanted to show you, and I know everybody was waiting for an update, um, especially for this colony. This is my biggest colony, and um, it's the first one that was on the channel, actually. So uh, if anything, we are growing at a pace that is kind of alongside this colony. Um, now, granted, we're, we're not quite as large as them yet, but I'm hoping um, with time, and hopefully everyone's enjoying the videos that you guys will come to love these ants as just as much as I do and um, form the connection that I have with these ants. Uh, because again, this is one of my first main colonies getting back into the hobby, um, especially when I was younger. Uh, I had colonies, but never of the Campanata species. All of them were like uh, the pavement ant species and um, uh, this other species I have back here. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. Um, but they are doing wonderful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, put them in the comments, again, down below. If you're enjoying this content, if you love these videos as much as I love making them and love showing them, sorry for the shakiness, I'm trying to stay still for you guys to get that view, but uh, if you're loving this kind of stuff and you, you like seeing these colonies and these updates and how I'm doing with them, and then again, we're going to get some more formicariums for especially this colony when they get uh, a little bit bigger. So I can move the brood boosted queen that uh, we did in the last video. I'm going to put her in here and then move this nest or this colony into a bigger formicarium. So we're kind of reusing everything. But if you want to watch that kind of stuff and you're enjoying it, please hit the like button. It helps so, so much. Um, and and sub, sub, sub to the channel. Excuse me. It's hard to talk around here. Um, but sub to the channel. Uh, I do have a special... Uh, thing we're going to do when we get closer to a sub sub goal as soon as we hit this goal that I'm aiming for um, I'm going to do something special for you guys uh, Like I said this channel wouldn't be anything without you or these ants. So 
I, I can't thank you all enough, and I cannot appreciate these ants any more than I already do. They are wonderful, and I'm doing everything I can to kind of give them everything they need to grow and get larger. And hopefully here in the next couple months, maybe, and again, you know, these colonies stay. Um, I talked to Mac the other day, and he has a colony of Pennsylvanicus um, ants. His are eight years old, and he has a huge formicarium um, full of ants, and that's where we want to get. Um, and the, again, this is the journey to get there, um, and hopefully you guys are following along. Um, if you go back into the videos, again, I'll post another video. Uh, I think it's a short but I'm not sure, but I'll post it right here, um, a picture of it. And you know, this is where this colony started and you can kind of I have it in a playlist for you guys to kind of keep track of. And if we ever want to go back and revisit where this colony started to where it's at currently, um, that entire playlist is there for you to watch. Uh, it's actually, again, I know the videos are older. Um, I'm, I'm still getting used to recording, still getting used to editing again, cause I've done this once before. Um, but, this video is going long, long enough. I didn't want to make it too long. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hope it's a little bit different. And I know everyone's been waiting for an update for this particular one, um, especially after I kind of hinted to their uh, success in the last brood boosting one. So follow along. If you're not watching the shorts, watch them. I do post uh, on the community uh, tab under the home or our homepage on SNE Ants updates and everything like that. I will do another video uh, going over this queen here soon um, hopefully you will uh, be around to watch that one because that one's gonna be awesome I have good news about her so hope everyone enjoyed the video and until next time I will catch you later hey SNE Ants here if you enjoyed this video check out this recent upload of this recommended video if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button in the middle of the screen and if you liked what you just watched hit the like button it really helps the channel out if you have any other suggestions or ideas comment down below Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.